KS Services is now offering preventative maintenance plans as low as $12 a month. Preventative maintenance is so important when it comes to your HVAC system. Let us come check your system out and perform our 22-point inspection. It's better to be safe than sorry. We have so many plans to choose from and special offers that go along with them. Call today for more information. 205-322-9090. Alabama license number 11120. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Monday, the 12th of November. I'm James Spann. A widespread soaking rain for the state today. The chance of a few severe storms near the Gulf Coast. And temperatures stay below average. It's going to be a cold rain today and tomorrow and probably part of the day Wednesday as well. Let's take a look. Here's the upper air look. We've got a broad trough over the western United States and a southwest flow aloft with a very moist air mass in place here across the region. That was the radar for the northern half of the state at 458, just a big mass of rain. And we'll see that pretty much all day today and all night tonight. And then down south, this is the mobile radar at 5 o'clock, and we've got some, looks like, supercells in the Gulf of Mexico offshore. Uh, one is clearly rotating, and that's headed up toward uh, Pensacola. So our friends down there will have to watch for the possibility of a few severe storms and maybe a few tornadoes. There's a tornado watch in effect down there until noon. Uh, temperatures for the north, 40s and low 50s, and they're just going to sit there all day today. Uh, even 50s down in Mobile and Dothan. It's a fairly stable air mass in South Alabama, but again, it's unstable just offshore, and some of that might creep inland. This is the tornado watch in effect for the central Gulf Coast until noon today. This includes uh, basically... Uh, Navarre, Pensacola Beach, Alabama's Mobile and Baldwin counties, and then west over to uh, near uh, Lake Charles. This is the watch warning map, and it's a pretty wild weather day across the country. You want it, we've got it. Uh, back in the colder air winter weather advisories for parts of the central United States, winter storm warnings across parts of the Texas panhandle, a freeze warning deep into Texas, a freeze watch for South Texas, and then red flag warnings in California where Santa Ana conditions will continue. And down in South Alabama, that's a flash flood watch. The county's in green uh, today and tonight for the far southern part of the state, but North Alabama's going to get a good soaking as well. So this is the severe weather outlook for today and tonight. Uh, first off, a marginal risk on the South Atlantic coast. And for the Gulf Coast, we've got the standard slight risk, level 2 out of 5, from uh, around New Orleans over to Panama City Beach, up into parts of South Alabama. This includes Mobile and Baldwin counties. And again, we've got the tornado watch until noon down there. And then tomorrow, maybe some thunder for the southeastern tip of the state, but no severe weather is expected. A lot of rain for the southeast over the next seven days. Uh, this is the rain through Monday morning of next week. In Alabama, rain amounts between 2 and 4 inches for much of the state. No drought worries around here with numbers like that, but we will be trending drier later this week. This is coming off the RPM model. It's an in-house model uh, showing this is just for 24 hours. This is over the next 24 hours. Rain amounts between 2 and 4 inches for the north-central part of the state. So we might have a few flooding problems on the northern end of the state as well if this verifies. All right, model fans, let's go. This is the GFS 06Z run, 1 o'clock today. Uh, troughing to the west, southwest flow aloft, and again, just a soaking rain here. But the northern half of the state will hover in the upper 40s and low 50s all day. A little bit warmer for the southern part of the state. And the surface low is located uh, over south Louisiana. And snow today for places like Amarillo, Oklahoma City, Springfield, Missouri, maybe even... Fort Smith or Fayetteville, Arkansas. Now, tomorrow, uh, we've got the rain probably most likely during the morning and a cold day, windy, cold, uh, the high only in the mid-40s, but the sky will stay cloudy all day. And now here's the deal on Wednesday. Part of the trough hangs back. Last week, it looked like the trough would lift out in phased fashion, and we see a big rush of really cold air, and we'd be clearing out on Wednesday with a sunny day and a low in the 20s. But obviously, with this being the case, that's not going to happen. That Wednesday looks wet. Uh, rain comes back in uh, widespread fashion on Wednesday, and it's going to be a cold rain. Uh, we start the day probably mid to upper 30s and the high only in the low 40s, just a cold rain. So no 20s, but cold and wet. 
And then finally on Thursday, the system begins to lift out. Not so sure we see a lot of sun. The rain will be ending early Thursday morning. Uh, the sky will be cloudy, highs probably upper 40s, and the really nasty weather begins to lift north and east of here. And then Friday, finally, the sun comes back in full force. Uh, Friday morning will be cold. We should be below freezing. Uh, the low upper 20s and low 30s. The high Friday in the upper 50s. But again, the sky will be sunny. And for the weekend, a bright, sunny day on Saturday. And the high will be up around 60. It'll feel like a heat wave. And Saturday morning, cold. Lows will likely be in the 30s. And Sunday looks like a sunny day. Again, lows probably upper 30s and the high Sunday close to 60s. So a fairly pleasant November weekend ahead. Here's Monday of next week, starting off Thanksgiving week. Right, it's a little below average, but again, that's a dry air mass. Lows in the 30s, high should be in the 50s. This is out 10 days. This is the busiest travel day of the year, according to many. The day before Thanksgiving. This is Wednesday the 21st. And again, a little short wave across the Great Plains. If this verifies, we'd have some rain for maybe Shreveport, Dallas, Fort Worth, Little Rock, but that would be dry here. But I got to understand, this is 10 days out. This is nothing but voodoo, and this can and will change. Peek at the numbers to give you an idea of the trends. Uh, obviously cold this week, many days, highs in the 40s and lows in the 30s. Next week, highs closer to 60 and lows closer to 40, a little closer to average for this time of the year. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.